All right, so talking about energy today, energy is defined as the ability to do work. So you should be filling in that blank. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. So the ability to do work. Does anyone know what potential energy is? I know you've learned this stuff before. John, help me out. Energy that's stored or is not emotional. Okay, so it's energy that is not in motion. Let's see what the official. Yeah, energy that is stored for later use. Pretty easy blank right there. Fill in that energy that is stored for later use. I need you guys to take half a minute and I need you to talk to the person next to you and I need you to come up with where on earth, all right, does anyone have an idea about where or what are some things that store energy on Earth? JT. Okay, so like that soil sitting on a hill, waiting for the rain to push it down. Okay, I like it. Um, Henry, you had something you said. Yes, absolutely. It's getting ready to throw that energy somewhere. Julian? Our bodies, how so? Our digestive system, okay. So it's waiting, if you didn't have breakfast yet, it's waiting to take that food and turn it into energy for you. All right, I can get behind it. All right, any other thoughts? Those were those were all very good ones. What? The, okay, so nuclear energy, energy from rocks. Hi. So, um, do you think, do you think the atmosphere holds energy? Yeah. Oh, no, no. You don't think so? No, it's always moving, isn't it? The atmosphere, yes, the air definitely is always moving. This is where I'm reading that very obvious. Um, yeah, absolutely. The air is always moving, you're right. But can it hold heat? No. Yeah, 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 it can. Yeah, it can. How might it do that? What do you think, Henry? Like, like when you're boiling something, like the vapor comes up? Yeah. Actually, water and vapor is really, really good at holding on to heat. Heat is a type of energy. Absolutely. All right. Let's, those are, ooh, those are good. All right. So, obviously, you knew potential energy. What's the opposite of that? Kinetic. Kinetic energy is obviously energy in motion. This is a re obviously a refresher for you. You guys are knocking this out of the park. All right. Your states of matter are solid. obviously solid, liquid, and gas. A fluid, you do need to define, and it is both a liquid and gas. They both are considered fluids, all right? And a fluid is an atom, or is where atoms are free to move and they will fill the shape of any container. You don't think of air as a fluid, but like you guys said, it's always moving. It has a fluid motion, right Gavin? Cool. Which one of these do you think has the most 
kinetic energy. How many of you how many of you think a solid has the most energy? I mean, I mean, Kinetic? which one has the atoms moving the most within oh, them? Gas. Would a solid, a liquid, or a gas? gas. Yeah, if yes. you say solid, raise your hand. One person. If you say liquid, raise your hand. Liquid has the most energy. The atoms are moving around the most. How many of you say gas? Actually, no, it's gas. You take it back? All right. Yeah, gas has the most energy. I mean, it makes sense. You add heat to a liquid, you add energy to a liquid through heat, and all of a sudden, you're boiling your pasta and there's vapor coming off, right? For kinetic energy, motion increases as you move from solid liquid to a gas, but density decreases as you move that way too. So, if I had to start here, the atoms within this solid, if I heated this up, it would become a liquid, which has more energy. If I heat the liquid up, there's more energy in it, and it, um, the motion increases. The density, though, what is density? If you cloned me, there's two of me, and that person, that clone of me, worked out 10 hours a day, be like me, rock the rock style. They would have a lot more muscle, they would be more dense. They have more muscle inside their body, even though they're a clone of me. Does that make sense? There's more stuff in it. All right? Here, there's more stuff in it. If I heat it up, it becomes less dense. There is less stuff in that gas, which I feel like you guys know, right? The atmosphere sits on top of the ocean. Atmosphere is a gas. The ocean's a water, right? less dense. Gas is less dense. All right. Now the different types of energy transfer. We're coming into the, the home stretch here. Convection. You have energy transfer through the mixing of unevenly heated liquids and gases. Where, what is the motion of convection? So cold oh, things, go yeah, the motion of convection is this weird circle thing. So cold air falls, all right? So convection, you have heat rising and cold falling. It's this motion that the energy moves. All right, um, how many of you have to make spaghetti for your family sometimes? And you have to boil water. Does anyone boil water? Just you, okay, a couple of you have boiled water before. Have you ever seen where the bubbles come up and then it looks like it moves back down? That's convection. You guys got this. All right. Where does this happen in nature? Nature. Out in nature, where does this happen? Ben? Yeah, within the earth. I know I messed up my drawing here. But inside earth, you have heat rising. Heat rising, cold falling. So an example of convection in nature would be um, evaporation. So heat is added to the ocean. It evaporates up into the atmosphere where it cools down. It's going to condense and make clouds. And then as it cools, it's going to become a cloud and that cloud will eventually become rain and then that cold air and along with those raindrops is going to fall down to earth all right so um you definitely have heat rising cold falling there conduction is energy transfer between two objects through direct contact you can see that picture right here where you have um a person being burnt by the handle on this pot um, in nature, when you are laying in bed at night, you get in the covers, the covers feel cold right away, but eventually because they are resting against your skin, those covers are going to warm up um, through conduction. Also, radiation 
uh, is the energy transfer through open space in the form of waves that can be light or heat. And an example of that in nature is sunlight. Sunlight coming in from outer space um, and warming Earth's surface through light. Um, you also might see this when you walk out into a parking lot. You can actually see heat waves or that ra heat radiation rising from a parking lot in the hot, hot summer.